Aloha, everyone. My name is Laurie, and welcome to our self-care and service practice in the love, peace, and harmony field. And I'm honored to be with you today. And so let us get started. And let me, we've been covering um, several self-care sessions and have discussed about some of the signs of stress, of maybe burnout, about uh, thinking about our wellness dimensions, where we can enhance, as well as how to cope after a disaster. So if you're interested in any of those, please feel free to check out our YouTube uh, playlist on our Satori Family Wellness channel. And so today I thought we go, we, we're going into a more practical um, experience and spend a bit more time uh, doing our practices. So we will do our check-in. So we, and then we'll talk about the relationship of self-care and service briefly, and then go into our love, peace, and harmony meditation, and then talk about some next steps so you can continue your journey for self-care and service. So let's kind of review some of the monitoring gauges, as I would like to call them, in terms of what may be important in helping us be aware and to also manage our stress levels. So one is the thoughts, our emotions, our bodily symptoms and sensations, and actions and behaviors. So here we have the list of some symptoms or signs that you may be going on the lower end of the scale and feeling a bit more stressed, maybe on the path um, to burnout if we're not careful and intercept, okay? So one of the things that we can do is just be mindful of where we're at and not judge it, okay? So judging goes into the negative information and thoughts and can cause negative emotions. So welcome. Thank you for joining, Brian. Uh, and so today I thought we'd maybe highlight the thoughts. And one of the things that I really notice in terms of the stress is that when we are able to monitor our thoughts, keep them in a more positive state, such as in love, peace, and harmony, then things get much easier because we Think so much, but you may also be aware of how we're feeling, um, your physical sensations, or if you're um, fatigued, you don't have pain, and also some of the behaviors that you're doing. But all of these, a lot of times, are fueled by some of our thoughts. So we'll kind of um, focus on maybe that today with our meditation. So we talked. Uh, previously about some coping strategies and um, ways that you can take do self-care. So again, eating, hydrating, exercising, getting rest. These are basic needs. And so they are not considered selfish. It's actually self-care, right? And even our spiritual teachers will um, talk about this. So if we have a thought, oh, I'm hungry, it's not... Um, like, please take care of that uh, and not think, oh, well, I have to serve first or I have to do this, I have to do that. Because if we don't take care, it uh, limits the quality of our service. And yes, it is okay to engage in fun, restoring activities that can get you um, feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, uh, and finding these healthy ways to get back in a balanced state. So hopefully this meditation will be one of them. And so think about a scene that you would like. It could be with a beautiful ocean in the background. So if you have, if this is peaceful, relaxing for you, you might have a scene like this. So as we begin our meditation, or it could be a forest with trees. So this could be something um, relaxing and calming for you taking a walk, going hiking, uh, maybe sitting by a stream or going, you know, uh, in nature. 
And next time I think I'll do some flowers. And I'm just in a flowery field where there's a, a, some pretty colors. That could be another way too. But you can um, create your own scene and image in your mind. Just giving you some samples. So as we connect to the field, I want you to maybe hold some of these um, imagery or fields that can also support you as we are doing our love, peace, and harmony, harmony exercise. So let's go ahead and close our eyes. And if you haven't done it already, check in. How are your thoughts? Are they racing? Are they calm, peaceful? How are your emotions? Perhaps they're calm and still, or maybe you were doing something or had an incident or are still thinking about something and feeling emotional about it. You're just gonna notice it without judgment. And also notice how uh, if you how your body is feeling? Is it feeling relaxed and comfortable, or are you experience any experiencing any pain or tension, stiffness, tightness, heaviness? So whatever it is, not don't judge it. You're just going to be aware of what you might be feeling. Just allow yourself to relax as we uh, connect with the field. And I'll lead you to a, a more in-depth connection. And you can also reflect on some of the actions that has been happening for you. Maybe, you know, sometimes you may have used a harsher tone to others or started avoiding people or um, having a you know, like addictive vegging out behaviors, just kind of lying in front of the TV or your phone or overeating, you know, some of the behaviors that may indicate some stress that you, so you've been, you know, uh, self-medicating in a way to keep yourself balanced, smoking or drinking or something to keep yourself calm. So without judgment, just notice it because you need to be aware of what it is that you're experiencing to be able to make a positive change. And if we don't have any judgment, it's much easier for us. We just notice, ah, this is something that may not be healthy and part of our self-care and service uh, practice that would be in the highest interest of ourselves and others. And this is what I wanna transform. So think about it, what you would like to transform. And it could fall or fall under and several of the gauges of thoughts, emotions, um, body sensations, or actions, or it may primarily be one, okay, or two. So if you can just kind of narrow it down to one or two to start with, okay? So think about your request of what you want to do to move forward in your self-care. So like for me, I was thinking maybe my thoughts, but actually it was more my body symptoms, you know, feeling some fatigue. So I'm going to, I'll focus on that. So whatever comes up for you. And let's kind of connect with the field. So this is the love, peace, harmony field that carries high level frequencies and vibrations that can then help us to bring ourselves in balance, to bring ourselves back into a state of love, peace, and harmony. So we're going to engage our mind, and this will help to settle our thoughts. So if we're thinking about all these other things, what you can do is just think about the message of love, peace, and harmony. And if it's hard, then you might want to do a bit more action behavior of tracing the characters of love, peace, and harmony. And that might occupy your mind so I'm going to start to the left of Shang I, which is love. And as, you can imagine as we trace, you can trace with your five fingers. Events, students know more 
advanced ways of tracing, like with your lower abdomen, or like in a Tai Chi movement, that's fine. You can go ahead and do it. You can just use your five fingers, hold it together. I'll just show you, you know, just like this. And follow along. So we're just going to be like, I'm going to do it on with the arrow. So up, down. And as we go through the pathway, just imagine with your mind power, um, which is creative visualization, that this darker lines is like glowing, beautiful, bright light, this golden light or rainbow light. For some of us, it could be like purple light or crystal light. We're just going to notice that. Up. And as we trace, think about that message of unconditional love, greatest love coming into our being into our bodies, into our hearts to assist us in that what we are wanting, requesting. Okay, this is ping on peace. So as we connect, feel this message of peace. We ask positive message of peace, the Tao calligraphies of love, peace and harmony to come in to help bring more peace into our lives. And her she harmony. And as we connect with your tracing or just meditating in front, Really use your mind power to feel the light of harmony, your heart power that feels. Imagine feeling this light and message of greatest harmony coming in to balance, to harmonize you, harmonize your request. Okay, so this is a pathway of tracing that you can do. And so for our our techniques, we talked about the mind power of visualizing beautiful light coming in from the field. You're going to imagine it, that it is 360 degrees around us, right? We had some photos of nature scenes. So you can kind of imagine that you're in this nature, but you're also connected with this powerful love, peace, harmony field that carries this powerful high frequency vibration and message of love, peace, and harmony that can help to transform the negative message um, that we might be carrying. So for me, it might be the fatigue um, or the discomfort or the tension, or it could be negative thoughts or emotions. And allow that to permeate through your being, inhaling, Love, peace, and harmony through your nose. Bring it down to your lower abdomen or the part of your body that's needing. Exhale, feel that light expand within you. Like so for me, I was feeling some heaviness in my eyes and feeling that light coming in through my eyes. So heart power, we talked about mind power. We're going to talk about soul power, which is one of the most important powers in our um, teachings. And it is by connecting, and it's allowing ourselves to connect deeply with um, honor and respect, reverence. So we're going to say, dear, this Tao calligraphy field of love, peace, and harmony, we love you, honor you, and appreciate you. So these are sacred arts um, written by a very powerful spiritual uh, master, a grandmaster, Dr. and Master Qigong Sha. He holds, um, you know, uh, he is trained in many different arts, including the martial arts of Tai Chi, Kung Fu, I Ching, uh, Feng Shui, Qigong. Shufa, which is Tao Calligraphy, is 
trained as a Western medical doctor as well as a traditional Chinese medicine doctor and is a very powerful being. And just think of that he, is, he has shared his love and light through these calligraphies. For those of you who have spiritual fathers, mothers, guides, whatever you believe in, you can connect with that, whether the universe, the sun, the moon, the stars, any saints, and imagine their love, peace, and harmony. So we just give gratitude so we dear the field, dear our spiritual fathers and mothers. Some of you may have um, what we call treasures, uh, spiritual treasures um, in with Dr. Master Shaw. Um, we talk about that a lot. Um, and he's offered all beings, love, peace, harmony, treasures, like these beautiful light energy falls within us. So imagine that you have that within you, turn them on to support you and each other to receive love, peace, and harmony. We will also call in those that we would like to serve. So we just invite the soul. Everyone has free will. You can also share this with live beings, but um, right now we're just calling them as we say on the soul level. So imagine maybe family, friends, loved ones. You know, I was talking with someone yesterday that needed some support. It's very busy, so we may not be able to make it online. Just going to call. And also the souls of like the projects we're working on, bring love, peace, and harmony. You might have projects with work. You might have relationships so that other person that you want to create more love, peace, and harmony, whether it's family, friends, colleagues, co-workers, neighbors, organizations. You can also, you know, um, connect with your community. As you know, we in Maui, we are still um, the recovery efforts will be, you know, will take um, a while. And there's many different groups, organizations. We we'll invite them in for everyone has wonderful intentions of service. And let us invite them so we can bring this message of love, peace, and harmony um, so they can work together, but not in opposition and create more ascension or strife. We want them to be in love, peace, and harmony. We just invite the souls. You can imagine using your um, creative imagination or your mind power. And some of you may have spiritual channels open. You might be able to see who wants to come. And imagine that they are sitting with us in the field, tracing the calligraphy and meditating. And I'm going to just play the song for a sound power, Love, Peace and Harmony. And some of you who know the song can just sing along. If you don't, just relax. Words are easy. I might have them in the description or not. And uh, you might see a block. Okay. So imagine the light coming in. We can invite all souls who want to serve with us to sing with us in the field.
Continue to relax and just notice how you're feeling. We're going to breathe nice and naturally to relax. Allow your breath to go into your lower abdomen. Allow yourself to ground, balance. Connecting with the message of love, peace, and harmony. Feel that message of love, peace, and harmony as we relax. And notice your body, how your body is feeling, how your emotions are. How your thoughts are? Are you feeling calm, peaceful, relaxed? I love to get to a place where like no thoughts, just calmness and feeling this light and inner peace and joy. And if you find that things became a bit busier, like your thoughts got busier, or your emotions a bit more aroused and um, feeling pain um, come out, don't worry. That is actually part of the cleansing and, um, pro and the process. So you might need to kind of clear out these negative messages, emotions, body sensations, until your body can then take in the more helpful and healthy messages of love, peace, and harmony. So if that's the case, please feel free to re-watch this. It is on Facebook. We do have the playlist of many different love, peace, harmony meditations, not just on our self-care and service uh, meditation, um, playlist, but also Love, Peace, uh, Harmony meditation playlist. So we may have some longer ones, some shorter ones, and just sometimes spending more time in the field can help you. So let us say thank you to the field. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank those that we have called and invited in to join us, to serve with us. Uh, we thank for those of you who connected with spiritual fathers and mothers, teens. Um, thank you. And thank each other. Thank your own soul, heart, mind, and body for showing up, for being able to um, take care of your own being so you can be a better servant. And so for our next steps to continue your wellness journey, you know, continue to work on your self-care and your service goals. We thought about something that we were working on today, and that could be um, following along those lines. If, you know, we do not replace any mental health, any um, medical or um, health care, please go to your mental health providers or other uh, providers if you need. Um, Hopefully, we can supplement any of your, you know, practices with this meditation. 
although there's no guarantees. And we do have another love, peace, and harmony field, um, meditation, and Tao wellness practices that are complementary with my mother, Annette. Um, you can find these on um, our YouTube channel, Satori Family Wellness Center. And please um, feel free to subscribe. Then the newest, um, every time we post, you'll know that another uh, session has been um, released. And we also have our free wellness evenings with Tao Calligraphy. So this is our introduction to the Tao Calligraphy field. It's on Thursday evening, 7 to 8 p.m. live. Um, you can register um, at our website um, or invent right and we also have a playlist right now of past sessions we don't know how long we can keep that on but this is um, for those of you also who are still um, have maybe more chronic uh, are still feeling a bit uncomfortable or need more support this is the next level field that we offer we have a free uh, introduction evening and for um, that you can join to find out more about that Okay, and so with our service journey, we um, briefly mentioned of self, the relationship of self-care and service. And, you know, working on your self-care can help you increase the quality of service, but it can also be mutual, right? Um, but just in terms of the service, you can invite others to participate and benefit from these sessions and other wellness sessions. You can continue to you know, do what you do in your daily life, helping your family, friends, but you can also donate to charitable works for groups that resonate with your values. And we talked about this in one of the wellness dimensions and how this um, fulfills our own and makes us feel better. Um, I, I definitely believe in like the service therapy that when we serve others, we ourselves can feel better. Um, we at Satori Family Wellness Center um, are honored to support the charitable works of the Love, Peace, Harmony Foundation. And um, I believe in our playlist or descriptions, we have the link for that, um, for the Love, Peace, Harmony. And if any of us here at Satori Family Wellness, my mother Annette or myself, Laurie, has inspired you can, you know, um, jot down our names or note our names. That would be wonderful. So again, self-care is not selfish. Self-care is to increase the quality of our service. Um, I find it very relatable um, to each other. So thank you for joining, for your service and being here and providing your love and light uh, here. Thank you, Brian, for joining. Thank you for those who may be seeing me on Facebook or maybe watching the video later. Thank you, and until next time, um, hui ho, see you soon, aloha, take care, bye-bye, thanks Brian.